Hello YouTube and welcome to your next beginner Java tutorial. In this video I will be teaching you about comments in Java. So comments in Java are used to describe what is happening in a program. Comments are special because they're not read by the compiler, which basically means that they don't need to be keywords or code or anything. You can write whatever you really want. So you can use comments to say something else that needs to be added in a certain spot. So a reminder basically that you need to put something here for this to work or describe just in general what is going on with your code at that point in the program. As I said in the last video, I'm going to try and relate everything that I teach you into game development. So although comments are useful in all forms of software development, especially in game development, because they can describe or remind the programmer what objects are doing what, so what is being controlled where, and how the program flows. And they can be used to comment a line out, which means that that line won't be read anymore. So to help you pinpoint where an error is, or what is causing the error. So now that we have talked about why comments are useful, let's get into the code to write a comment in Java. So go ahead, open up Eclipse, and let's begin. So in Java, there are three main forms of comments. The first one is a single line comment, which is just written with two slashes, and that's it. Single line comment. So now this line won't be read. So if I run this, nothing's going to happen because this line isn't being read and it's not telling Java to do anything. So, so now let's get to the next kind of comment, which is a multi-line comment, which is just a slash, then a star. You can click enter. And then now you have a multi-line comment. So I can go, this is a multi line comment that's supposed to be two words but now once again when I run it nothing will happen because these are not read by the compiler now the last kind of comment you guys might not use it for a little bit but it's just a slash and two asterisks and this is a documentation comment now a documentation comment although it's really similar to a multi-line comment the documentation comment is used by the Java doc uh, when it's preparing the automatically generated documentation. So really don't need to worry about this unless you're working for a very high up software company, but you can do the same thing with it's can be on multiple lines. So now that we have talked about what each comment is, we can just delete all this and I know this is going to be an extremely simple example but I'm just going to bring this code over here and so let's say we didn't get this error message so we don't know which line it is let's say we run this and it's gonna say we have errors and it says error so let's say we don't know which line it's on so let's say oh we can just comment one out to find where the error is so now we can comment that one out. Do we still get the error? Oh yes, we still get the error. So uncomment that one, comment out this one, and say run it. Oh, it works, so there must be a problem in here. Okay, so there's actually two problems if you guys didn't catch it. The S needs to be capital and system, and you end all lines with a semicolon. So now when you run it, it'll say hello, hello. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more, and comment if you have any questions while you're on your Java journey. I always like answering questions about what you can do differently. But while you're at it, while you're at subscribing to my channel, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter to stay updated on what I'm doing. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.